it's me Renee, I'm back. And yeah, as you can see, this is a quick, well, I don't know right now how quick it will be, but it's a Dewey wrap up. Because yes, this weekend was the Dewey 24 hour readathon. And uh, yeah, as usual, I do kind of like reading a lot during the weekend, like reading for 24 hours or like 22 hours straight. That's not possible for me. But like I tried to do like 12 hours or something during the weekend. And I did like six hours on Friday. I think I did like, like um, five hours on Saturday. And then on well, sun Sunday, it was like eight hours. So yeah, I did pretty good, I would say. And so yeah. First, I did Crookhaven School for Thieves by J.D. Arancanio. So, well, this is a middle grade. A middle of the grade uh, first in the series about thieves who are teens. Yeah. Honestly, this whole book kind of felt like a whole prologue. Nothing really happened in it. I mean, it has a cool world, but like, I feel like some sometimes you can kind of forgive a first book in a series to be like a prologue world building book. But I feel like the world, if the world building is done great enough, then you're happy, then it's cool. But here, I feel like you, you didn't really get to know the characters or the world in an interesting enough way. So it was just kind of, it had potential, but it was just kind of, yeah, it was just kind of down there, like it had potential, but nothing really happened. And uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, I would say, like, if you're going to pick up this book, I would say maybe maybe binge it with the second book. Because I know that the whole trilogy is out, or the whole series, or the whole series, at least three more books is out in English. This one just got translated into Norwegian. But yeah, I feel like you could maybe binge them, because probably they're better binging. Or, I don't know, I haven't read the second book, but reading just the first book by itself is not recommended. By me, at least. So, yeah, a bit of a sad start to the readathon. And then on Saturday, I read a bit in The Purpose of Power by Alicia, Alicia Garcia. So this is a biography for her. So I read a bit in it, but, like, not much, but I read a few pages. And I did enjoy it. And I thought, like, oh, I'm going to read a lot in this, this weekend. And then I didn't, because reasons. But... Yeah, uh, I did like it. I just ended up picking up other stuff instead. And then, then I picked up Nina's Dog Book, which is the second in a in a trilogy. Well, it was a trilogy. Pretty much, as you said, it's a quartet. But yeah, the second one in an anime in series. It's a diary form series, so you have like uh, twelve o'clock, fifteen. Like you have. Num you have dates and whatnot, and it's very fast-paced, easily read, and yeah, very, very funny. Highly recommend it. I, I think the first one is available in English. I'm not quite sure if the second one is, this one is, but at least I feel like the first one, the first one is. So, I suppose you just Google Nina's diary and see if you find anything there, really. Uh, it also had, like, a movie and a TV series in, yeah, for, like, 20 years ago, so... Yeah, that's kind of cool. And yeah, I can kind of see, yeah, my mascara is a bit all over. I, yeah, I didn't really fix it perfectly there. As you can see, uh, I'm an internet person who's not perfect. Isn't that cool? But yeah, uh, anywho. So yeah, I very much enjoyed this one. And then after that, I picked up One Summer in Sicily, which, yeah. This one was not a good read, I was about to say, at all. Uh, no, yeah, honestly, it wasn't really a good read at all. I suppose, anyway, it had, it had a cool, it had a nice opening, but then after opening, it was like, yeah, I, I don't really care. So the, the plot is that uh, Jillian comes to Sicily to surprise her husband, and <gasps> surprise, her husband is having an affair. So, of course... They're the game they were, she's like, what, what am I going to do in my life? And um, books like this is interesting, or can be interesting, if you had an interesting character. 
Jillian should just, you should like to me, she's not really that interesting. Like she's been a mom and a, a house housewife for like four twenty years, but she hasn't really done stuff, and she doesn't really seem like she has like interest. Like she can cook, but like she's in Sicily, but she's not into history or art. So it's like okay, so you just have kind of baffling about. She just kind of felt like passionless, and um, honestly, a character based book about a character you don't really care about. That doesn't really work. Now, did I finish this book? Yes, I did. Why? Because I'm a masochist. I mean, sometimes I don't do nothing book. I just finish them either way. Um, yeah, uh, I did skim a lot of it, but I did finish it. I suppose, I suppose sometimes the reason why I don't do enough books that I don't really enjoy is that I can't, I'm over the off this. I can't feel like, well, sometimes a book is good in beginning and then bad and then at the end, it's good again. So I'm like, maybe it gets better. Maybe. Who knows? Who knows? So that's kind of been my thinking with that, really. So, yeah. Um, But yeah, this one did not really get better. So, uh, uh, hot tip for me. Don't pick up this book. <laughs> Though, of course, what I'm going to love... It's not what everyone else is gonna love, or vice versa, what I hate, not everyone else will hate. And again, I suppose I didn't hate this book, it was just a big pile of ugh. So, yeah. <clears throat> uh, and then I did, yeah, then... Sorry. Then I did City of Spies by James Ponty. This one I loved very, very much. This is one of those books where, like, uh, I'm just having a big smile on my face. Like, I have, I have like two small faults or things I don't like with the book, but it's not huge things. It's just small things. So it's not, it's not really like any big faults. So I'm just sitting there reading each page, like smiling and smiling and just having such a good time it's just it's <clears throat> it's unpredictable it's great world building great characters humor it's got great plots i mean i have zero complaints it's just so so amazing and i was just like oh my god oh my god oh my god this book is the goat it's the greatest of all time like at least I would say, like, it's great spy book, uh, I think, among uh, I've, I've read. Not that I've read that many spy books, but it's among the greatest I've read regarding spies. Also, it's the first in the series, and I just kind of checked yesterday, and supposedly the series is ongoing, because the fifth book is coming up this year, but that's not the fifth and last. So it's like, oh, well, yes! So yeah, very, very happy. If you're in the mood for middle grade spy book, check out... City of Spice by James Ponty. You will not regret it. <clears throat> then I did Dyrne from Schwelt, which, as you can see, is a Norwegian book all about extinct, extinct animals, animals that don't exist anymore. It has beautiful illustrations and, yeah, has interesting, kind of tells a story about the animal and then some fun facts. And, uh, yeah quite enjoy this one. And then, as you do, I did read a bit uh, yesterday evening after, because for me the readathon ends in 2am, 2pm, 2, 2 always mixed up. 2 in the afternoon, it ends, ends on 2 in the afternoon on Sunday, but I read a bit later yesterday as well. So now uh, I might get some um, haters, I might lose a lot of fans. Or maybe maybe someone agrees with me. I don't know, but I'm honest. I'm gonna tell you the truth, the honest God truth. So yeah, I picked up Tess of the Emerald Sea. So I had read one chapter many weeks ago. <clears throat> Sorry, and one of my goals this time was to this read one was to, like pick up books that I haven't focused on before and kind of finish them or read more in them. This one being. <coughs> This one being one of them. And um, yeah. Uh, so I read 
five chapters, sorry, uh, fi five or four chapters. So like I read the first, I finished the first part because of the, this is one of those books that's um, divided into parts, part one, part two, it's six parts. And um, yeah, so far I'm kind of a bit mad, annoyed, mad. Well, I'm slightly mad, maybe more annoyed, yeah, more, more annoyed. Ticked off, maybe I'm ticked off. Um, I, I'm, I'm a negative adjective because what happens is the first chapter is just kind of introduction and the second chapter things happen and the third chapter things happen and I'm like oh, what, what? <clears throat> because I knew that this was kind of cozy because that's like not a lot of things happen or like it's a kind of cozy fantasy it's not like the maddest fantasy it's a cozy fantasy and those fantasies sometimes things are slowly paced and whatnot. And yes, I kind of knew that it might be a bit slow paced and whatnot. Uh, but I didn't really feel like it was like in the first chapter you got introduced to the characters, and the second chapter is like the love of my life, and the third chapter is like okay, I have to go away to my friends and people, and I'm like I just met this people who are supposed to be in love and other, a great couple. And I just met them, and I'm like, no, no. I suppose maybe some people enjoy this, or probably some people do enjoy this. But for me, if I'm gonna care about characters, you have to give me time with them. You have to give me 50 pages, or you have to give me 100 pages to get to know the characters. If I'm introduced to a character in chapter one, and then chapter two, the character dies, I'm like, and? I mean, you're interested, but you didn't really know the characters, so why should you care? So, um, right now I'm um, just a bit annoyed. I, I want to continue this book, but right now I'm just kind of annoyed. And... Yeah, ticked off. Angry? Mad? Angry at the, the book? Yeah, maybe a bit angry at it, honestly. Um, yeah, uh, I'm, I'm gonna finish it. But I'm thinking it might be a book that I... Maybe, maybe I'm gonna read one one part, like I'm gonna read one part next and then one part. Because it's not like a big book in general, it is a book 360 pages, so it's not a big book, but yeah. Yeah, I know, that, that's, yeah. That's my thoughts about Tress of Emerald Sea so far. Um, I'm baffled and annoyed. But intrigued. I kind of am. I'm not sure I'm gonna pick it up this week, but yeah. Anywho, so yeah, that was my weekend reading experience. And uh, yeah, if you so I suppose if you one of the people people who commented on my TBR saw that I read the, was had my this one TBR. Yes, now you know I've read more in it. Did not finish it, but I read more in it. You have to be mad at me, but yeah, be mad all you want. So, yeah. Did you guys have a nice story? Or did you just have a nice reading weekend? Maybe you didn't read? I don't know. Uh, I hope you have a nice, had a nice weekend. And uh, yeah, see you soon. Bye.